Robson runs rampant at Lords. London was the destination for the 2020 runners-up first fixture of the county championship. Lords was the scene of their almost moment almost a year ago. Gloucestershire, Hampshire, Leicestershire and Surrey joined the West Country side and their hosts in Group 2 of the new tournament format, knowing that even finishing top of the group wouldn't guarantee them a shot at silverware with just the two best teams from across the tournament making it to the final. Somerset made a quick start with the ball. Max Holden was removed early, popping a simple catch to Tom Banton at square leg. But Sam Robson and Nick Gubbins ensured that the early breakthrough was an isolated one, and they combined well to tick the score up towards 50. Middlesex raced past the landmark, scoring at more than five and over, but they'd lose Gubbins soon after. Josh Davey found the pads and removed the number three for 21. But there was no slowing the pace. The home side were clearly in the mood, and the tone was set by Robson. His initiative was rewarded with the first half century of the county championship season. The landmark reached with an eighth four of a quick fire innings. Robson's fine form continued, the score racing towards 100 in the overs before lunch, the Middlesex opener with the lion's share thus far. He'd reached 65 of just 79 balls, with his side one run shy of triple figures at the interval. Robson picked up where he'd left off at the resumption. Davy became a favourite target of his early in the session. Eskenazi, though, couldn't emulate his partner's heroics. Lewis Gregory found a way to his pads, and the skipper departed for 22. There was no deterring the Middlesex opener, though, and with a well-run three, Robson brought up his century and took the score to 150. He was seemingly unbeatable. He had Middlesex's 200 in his sights, with the session closing in on the tee interval. And Robson was soaring with 126 runs off of just 200 deliveries. There was no stopping Robson after tea. Not content with the 122 he had to his name at the interval, he set about searching for more. The departure of Anderson caught behind for eight gave Somerset something to shout about. But Robson was rampant and his excellent form was rewarded with 150 runs. His tournament was off to the best possible start. 250 runs was the next target for Robson and Simpson, a figure they reached, but the partnership wouldn't make it much further. With 254 on the board, Somerset struck, Davis with a smart low catch off Gregory to dismiss Simpson for 11. That signalled a poignant moment as Toby Rowland Jones returned to first class cricket after an injury ravaged few years. He was off the mark with a well-played flick off the pads. But the wicket Somerset had been hunting all day finally came. Sam Robson looked to be a little too cute and could only guide a catch into the waiting hands of Abel off the bowling of Gregory. He departed with 165 to his name. There was more Somerset success to come, this time Tom Helm guiding Gregory to Hildreth for the bowler's fourth of the innings. But despite the loss of two quick wickets, Middlesex was still in the hunt for 300 first day runs. Roland Jones and Bamba stuck together and did their best as the session wound to a close. They'd make it as far as 293 for eight when the day came to an end. Sam Robson will remember his innings fondly. While his excellent knock had brought him a return of 165, somewhat overlooked was the milestone he reached when passing 35, 10,000 first class runs. Somerset will be encouraged by the turn extracted by Jack Leach. While he's only picked up one scalp so far, the signs are there that he could play a big part in the back end of this match.